This video relates to Info2 Unit Backup and Recovery. In this video tutorial, my aim is to illustrate the difference between an incremental backup and a differential backup. And I'm going to do that using diagrams and animations. So you can see at the top here, I've got some days labeled Friday. Uh, we're going to assume that we have the weekend at Saturday and Sunday, and then work through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm going to start by illustrating an incremental backup and restore followed by a differential backup and restore. So imagine this scenario. I go to work on a Friday and I work on my computer and at the end of the day um, I set up my computer to perform a full backup. And what that does is it backs up everything that I have done. So all the files and folders that I want to back up, I, set, I tell the computer, right, these are the files and folders I want you to back up, back up everything. So that's what happens. I go home over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday and then I come back to work on the Monday and I do some more work on my computer. Now at the end of the day on Monday what I do is I set my computer up to automatically back up my work using an incremental backup. And what that means is an incremental backup will back up uh, only the data that has changed since the last backup which happens to be uh, the backup that occurred on Friday which was a full backup. So again just to illustrate and, and um, highlight that and uh, incremental backup only backs up data that has changed since the last backup. Okay, so in this example, um, let's assume that I didn't do any work on Saturday or Sunday. So all I have on this incremental backup here is the work that has been done on the Monday. So I go home, I come back on Tuesday, back to work, and I do some more work on my computer. And again, at the end of the day, I leave and my computer is automatically set up to perform another incremental backup. So let's recap what that means again. What an incremental backup will do is it will only back up data that has changed since the last backup. So now the last backup is actually Monday's incremental backup. Therefore, in this example, this incremental backup here on the Tuesday will only have Tuesday's data on it. So I go home at the end of the day and then I come back to work on the Wednesday morning and again I do some more work on my computer. At the end of the day I go home and my computer is automatically set up again to do another incremental backup. So, like before, only an incremental backup only backs up data that has changed since the last backup, which is now Tuesday's incremental backup. So, on this incremental backup here on Wednesday, I should only have the data that has uh, changed on Wednesday. So, I go home and I come back to work on Thursday. Now, we've hit a problem because on Thursday, at the end of the day, I'm just about to back up and all, all of a sudden my computer crashes. So I've worked all of Thursday, but I haven't yet performed the backup. Because my computer has crashed, this means that I've actually lost all of the work that I did on Thursday. I've potentially lost all of the work that I've done on Friday. However, I backed up this data from Friday through to Wednesday. So what I can do now is, yes, I must have to come to terms with the fact that I've lost all of the data that occurred on Thursday, all of the work that I did on Thursday. But now what I can do is I can perform a restore because I have these full and incremental backups here. So how would we restore using an incremental backup? Well, what you would do is you would take the last full backup, which is this one on Friday, you would take that and you would restore it. What you then need is you then need all of the data from the Monday's incremental backup. So I take that and I restore it. Again, I would then need all the data from Tuesday's incremental backup and then I can restore it. And then again, I'd need all of Wednesday's incremental data and then I'd restore it. And as you can see, this would probably take quite a lot of time to actually restore because there's so many different backups that I've got to restore to get a, a, a full backup uh, and restore. So that's how an incremental backup works. Now I'm going to illustrate how a differential backup and restore works. So similar scenario, I go to work on the Friday, I do some work on my computer and at the end of the day I've done all of my work so I perform a full backup. So again that backs up all the data and files that I've told it to, everything. I go home over the weekend and Saturday and Sunday and I come back on the Monday and I do some more work on my computer. At the end of the day what I do is I set up my computer to do a backup but this time I do a differential backup. 
Now what a differential backup does and that is different to an incremental is that this backs up the data that has changed since the last full backup. So there's a big difference here. If you have a look at the incremental backup, we've got an incremental backup only backs up data that has changed since the last backup. A differential does backs up data that has changed since the last full backup. Okay, so in this differential backup here, what I will have is I'll, in this example, I will have hold all of Monday's data on this differential backup. So I go home, I come back the next day, which is Tuesday, and I do some more work on my computer. At the end of the day, the computer is automatically set up to perform another differential backup. So, what does that mean now? Well, because a differential backup only backs up data that has changed since the last full backup, you can see that what happens here is this differential backup on the Tuesday will actually have all of Monday's and Tuesday's data stored on it. So you can see that a differential backup at this point will take a lot longer than an incremental backup at this point because it's got to back up all of Mondays and Tuesdays because the last full backup was on Friday. So I go home, I come back to work on the Wednesday. I do all of my work at the end of the day, the computer's automatically set up to perform another differential backup. So again, what does that mean? Well, a differential backup only backs up data that's changed since the last full backup. So again, in this differential backup on the Wednesday, I'm actually backing up all of Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays data, because that's when the data has changed since the last full backup. So you can see again, to actually perform this differential backup, would take a long time comparing it to Wednesday's incremental backup. So I go home, I come back to work the next day on the Thursday, I do some work on my computer, it gets to the end of the day and just as I'm about to perform my differential backup, my computer crashes. So what do I do? Well, I've got to deal with the fact that I've lost all of Thursday's data. But because I've got these full and differential backups, I can actually do a system restore and obtain the data that I've lost on Thursday, uh, sorry, on Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So, how would I do this? Well, what I would do is I would take the full backup from the Friday and I'd um, implement that restore. What I would then do is I would take the differential backup from the Wednesday here and restore that. So you can see here that if I do an incremental backup, I've got to restore four separate files. If I do a differential backup, I've only got to restore two separate files. Because this differential backup here that was done on Wednesday already contains all the data from the Monday and the Tuesday and the Wednesday. So actually restoring using a differential backup can be quicker. So to conclude, the very important difference that you need to be aware of uh, between an incremental and a differential backup is what I've highlighted in yellow here, that an incremental backup only backs up data that has changed since the last backup, whereas a differential backup only backs up data that has changed since the last full backup. So if we were to look at the different ways that data can be backed up, we can look at a full backup, which is where all the data that is stored in your files or folders that you wish to backup will be saved. And there's obvious advantages and disadvantages of that and these are listed here. If I then go and have a look at um, a differential backup, which we now understand is only the data that is different since the last full backup will be saved, that also has its advantages, such as reduces the time it takes to restore the data, but it does have a disadvantage as well. For example, it is slower than an incremental backup because you've got to back up um, potentially three days worth of, of data instead of just one. We can then have a look at the uh, advantages and disadvantages of an incremental backup. So an incremental backup we know saves all the files that have been changed into the last backup, not just the last full backup. So the advantages are obviously a faster way to backup, but the disadvantages are restoring data can take a long time. And that concludes this presentation.